This is a mock interview conducted by Forum IS Academy at New Delhi. The interview panel includes eminent professors, retired bureaucrats, and other luminaries. The objective of the program is to acquaint the candidate with the format and expectations of the personality test conducted by UPSC. May I come in? Please come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Udit Kardyan. Yes, sir. You are from Delhi, Najafgar. History is an yes, option. And you have studied physics. BSc yes, sir. honors from KM College. Yes, sir. Thereafter, you've done MSc from Hindu College. Yes, sir. Must be in the department. Yes, sir. Department in of the physics. College. And your hobbies are many. Participated in the University Rover Challenge organized by the Mars Society. What is Mars? So Mars Society is a non-profit organization which okay. is established, which is set up in the United States of America by the ex NASA scientists. Okay. So what they do is sir, they Every year they hold this university rover challenge in Utah state of United States where they ask participants from around the world to come up with different rovers for, you know, mass exploratory missions. Oh, yeah. So you participated in it? Yes, sir, we did. Reading science fiction and fantasy books, watching movies and what is this? A-N-I-M-E? Sir, anime. Oh, These yeah. are Japanese cartoons, sir. Japanese cartoons. Yes, sir. So you watch that. Yes, sir. Playing video games. <clears throat> People are still playing video games. Yes, sir. They are. So video game is one of the biggest booming industries. On the mobile. Of the so of the mobile of the computer of the consoles. There are different ways in which we, you can play video games. Okay. So it is a almost hundred billion dollars industry. Okay. So, yes, sir. It is one of the biggest entertainment industries in the world today. Okay. Which has also been profited by the you know the rise of the streaming platforms such as Twitch and YouTube. Very good. Okay, Delhi. <clears throat> You've been in Delhi. You are from Delhi. What do you have to say about Delhi? If I say say a few words on Delhi, what will you say? So, I think Delhi is one of the biggest, you know, the, it is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the country. It is the national capital, so it holds, you know, the critical infrastructure which represents the central government and also the state government. And it is the fulcrum of, you know, the changing socio-cultural aspect of milieu, you know, the different people from around the country come here to, you know, for jobs, for settling or for studying etc so it has a it has emerged as a different culture of its own which is different from any other city in the world okay uh, <clears throat> delhi has large number of problems so, tell me some major ones sir traffic situation in the city is very bad at the same time so the issue of fl flooding during the rains also, sir, the problem of solid waste disposal, which has not been addressed effectively as of yet. At the same time, sir, the crime against women has also been upon the rise, according to the recent NCRB data. Okay. <clears throat> Your father has been working in the police, Delhi police. Yes, sir. You must be aware of the policing and in Delhi? Sir, a little bit, yes sir. You think the police commissioner system is better than the traditional system? What is the traditional system? So the traditional system is where the DM, DM and DM is, you know, the, the SP is subordinate to the DM. And no, not subordinate, but they work together. Okay sir, sorry they sir. They work together for maintenance of law and order. Law and order. Okay, sir. 
So don't you think that is a better system where there will be two people of almost similar ranks working together rather than having a police commissioner and uh, no other except his own hierarchy to support him? Sir, what, what this is actually, sir, since policing is more of, you know, it is more of a specialized domain rather than something what a DM does, which is more generalized administration of the whole district. Mm -hmm. So something specialized such as law and order requires someone who is more, you know, in tune with what happens in law and order, what, you know, steps can be taken. So if a when a police commissioner works on his own, he is not actually working on his own. He's also responsible to the state or the central government of that region. So, sir, I think, you know, because there are less less chances of, you know, uh, bureaucratic mishap happening. So, which will ensure that <coughs> faster. What do you understand was bureaucratic mishap? Sir. It's a very strong expression. Sir, you know, delays due to bureaucratic, I would say. Look, the only yes, thing which changes is yes, sir. that the powers of an executive magistrate, hmm. which is there in the CRPC, hmm. are given to the police commissioners. Yes, sir. What are those powers? Sec um, section yes, 144, okay. section 107, preventive detention, section 133, public nuisance. These are a few sections. Okay, sir. Dispersal of unlawful assembly. Only these things are there. Okay. <coughs> so, I don't think, I mean, all over the country, out of 700 odd districts, most of the districts have the traditional DMSP working together. Why have this system? Sir, I believe that in some cities, which are metropolitan cities, which have emerged, they have different, new, there are newer and different challenges of law and order, which have emerged, which are different from the local challenges, which are, you know, prevalent in the rest of the districts of the city of the country. So to tackle these challenges, these commissioner system has evolved and I think it has worked well in these cities. For example, in okay. Delhi or Mumbai or say Ghaziabad also has adopted the system recently. Yeah. <coughs> Your first preference is the foreign service. Yes, sir. Any specific reason? Sir, one reason is that, sir, when you are an IFS officer, a foreign service officer, you get to represent the whole country on the global stage. So the second reason I would say is that when, you know, the, as, you know, our Honorable Minister of External Affairs said that as the governments evolve, the foreign services, especially in the age of globalization and as the countries are coming together. So the importance of foreign service has risen significantly and that presents new challenges which are exciting. At the same time, sir, you know, you get to experience different cultures, get to know different people, their background, their history, which is unique intellectual, which provides a unique intellectual, uh, I would say, development opportunity, sir. Okay. How would you rate uh, our external affairs minister as a minister looking after foreign affairs? Sir, if I may ask a question, sir. Rate in what sense, sir? Do you find him good or not good? No, sir, I do find him very good, sir. He has been quite effusive about his, you know, about the new changing diplomacy, diplomatic stance of the country where, you know, we are getting more decisive. We are projecting our confidence on the global stage and we are, he is very eloquent, so he is able to put forward the India's ideas, in India's national interest on the global stage without you know, getting pressurized by the different stronger powers of the world. He is gone to which countries? Where is he now? Sorry, sir, I do not know, sir. South Korea. Okay, sir. What has he done there in South Korea? I'm sorry, sir, I do not know. He is going to Japan thereafter. Okay. Why is he visiting these countries? Sir, South Korea and Japan have also been critical in helping us, you know, patrol the Red Sea region, joint patrols in the Red Sea region, which have been, you know, 
affected by the Houthis. At the same time, sir, these two countries are also you know great partners of us, especially in the China Plus and the Supply Chain Resilience Initiative that we have you know come up with Australia. At the same time, sir, these countries have also common democratic values with us. So all these make us you know great. Re- we want great, good relationship with these countries. Okay, in uh, one of these conferences in Munich. Our foreign minister said that we are non-West and not anti-West. Yes, what is he trying to say? Sir, anti-West is something which perhaps China or Russia are trying to create a, you know, a different kind of axis which is against the Western, poly- Western you know, ideas such as the idea of democracy or you know, other ideas which the China and Russia are trying to, you know, counter at them with their own propaganda. India being non-West is something they, we are saying that we have our own we have our own identity which is separate from the West, but that does not mean that we are against all the policies of the West or the Western ideas or culture. I think our approach is correct. There have been people who are saying that between BRICS and uh, Quad India is monkey balancing. Sir, I would not call it monkey balancing. I would call it a very good example of diplomatic balancing in which we have been able to balance our national interests along with the interests of United States as well as Russia and China. Sir. And at the same time project our own strategic autonomy. How is the Chinese economy performing lately? Sir, lately the Chinese economy has been in a downfall. The infrastructure sector was hit quite harsh, hardly when their companies got bankrupted. At the same time, sir, due to the COVID and the restrictions imposed by the country, their economy went in a, into a very harsh downfall, which it has not recovered as of yet. At the same time, sir, the Chinese government also cracked down on its entrepreneur, entrepreneurs and business magnates, which has also affected the com- country. So, can you tell me three reasons why the economy is not performing as well as they were doing earlier? Oh. Have you heard of their real estate crisis? Yes, sir. The property crisis? Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. is this crisis? Sir, um, sir, I believe that their real estate companies were you know, siphoning of money and, you know, creating an artificial real estate boom by creating different, you know, ghost towns and ghost cities as well as, you know, spending money on real estate through BRI. There are are not as many buyers as there are real estate uh, properties available. Okay, sir. There are not as many buyers. So what has happened to the exports? Of China, sir? Yes. So, sorry, sir, I do not know much about that. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. So, my dear friend, you have history as your optional. Yes. All right. Tell me what is the what was the concept of Jagat Seth in British and Mughal times? Sorry, sir, I do not know. All right. Tell me from historical perspective that uh, which of these two battles was more important in terms of uh, British control over India? We had one Plassey, yes, another sir. Buxar. Yes, sir. But which of the two, you, in your view, is uh, more important? Sir, well, Plassey was a pyrrhic victory wherein, you know, they were able to win the war not through a you know military battle, rather through their machinations, political machinations. Buxar was a complete rout of the three powers of the North India, which was the Awadh, the Mughals and the Bengal. So it was a more third important one, battle. Third one is? The Bengal. This Bengal is part of North Indian power? You mentioned three route of three North Indian powers. So Bengal is part of... Uh, no, sir. It's more of the Eastern power. All oh, sorry, sir. Yes, sir. You mean to say all the three local powers were? Local powers. Oh, right. Right. Yes. Yes, sir. Carry on. yes sir. So, 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 sir. Buxar was more important than Plasse in that sense. All right. Uh, right after few weeks, you are going to have full fledged budget in parliament when the new government. 
yes, takes the oath. You are being asked, give me three important suggestions that shall be part of budget. Offer me three suggestions. Mm -hmm. So one, I would give more focus on skill development, you know, diversification of the skill landscape of the country, whereas, you know, more skill, more types of skilling opportunities are provided rather than, you know, the limited number of skills opportunities that are provided. Second would be, you know, increased focus on artificial intelligence and, you know, creating a landscape where such entrepreneurship can emerge. And so third, I would say is focus on the vulnerable sections, which is women and the poor. Should agriculture be put under income tax framework? What's the problem if somebody is making enough income to be qualified as income taxpayer? Yes, so why he should not pay tax? Sorry, sir, I get to All right. You are from uh, Haryana, uh, Haryana and Delhi boundary. Yes, and sir. every third or fourth year, you find that farmers are coming from Punjab agitating. Yes, Why only Punjab farmers agitate? We don't uh, listen to that uh, Madhya Pradesh or Andhra or Bengal farmers agitating. Why? What's so particular about Punjab farmers? So one reason is that the due to, you know, the uh, green revolution which happened, Punjab and Haryana were the focal points of that revolution. So what happened was that due to high use of pesticides and fertilizers, the soil of that region has reduced in its productivity. At the same time, sir, water level is also going down. And at the same time, you know, the, due to the water level, level going down, cancer and other, wo, uh, sorry, Heavy metals like arsenic and uranium are coming out and you know, which has led to cancer and other issues, which has led to what happened is that the export of their produce has reduced. At the same time, sir, these are the farmers which are highly dependent on the MSP. So when the, all these reasons are, sir, why they are the ones who are agitating. Explain what is Sensex. Suppose we all are class 8th students and you are... Yeah. An expert telling us Sensex. How would you explain Sensex? Sir, Sensex is the, you know, regulated stock exchange of the country wherein, you know, the biggest biggest companies of the country, their shares are being, shares are being traded upon, upon. Share is actually the market value of in the total company, total value of the company. Why most of the Indian startups are failing? 80 to 90 percent startups are failing. What, in your view, are so, the reasons? So one reason is that they they are they do not get sustained funding over time. You know, they get initial funding which allows them to rise up, but at the same time they are not able to, you know, get the funding after a couple of few years, which leads to them, you know, not able to pay their bills, which leads to them falling. Recently, in Jamnagar, there was a huge function involving a marriage function of a private industry son. How do you react to that? Don't you think it's a vulgar show of wealth must be better avoided? Sir, I believe it was that individual's preference because it is his wealth which he has earned legitimate, legitimately and he has he has every, you know, right to do whatever he wishes to do with it. At the same time, I believe that the amount of media frenzy could have been avoided, which has, you know, it has almost captured the imagination of the country. Again, a struggle question. Suppose there was no partition. Yes. India and Pakistan were the same. And of course, Bangladesh, Bangladesh would also be same. A hypothetical question. If all the three would remain same, in your view, that would have been better or worse? Sir, a larger country with, you know, a huge population, especially, you know, I believe, sir, it would have been better because we would not have, you know, hostile neighbors to our Northwest. We would not have the problems that we had initially with Bangladesh, you know, the river sharing or water sharing problems, 
those would have been internalized yeah. between different states and those could have been easy half is would easy. also be indian yes half sir but terrorist would also be indian that way sir but if if a, if a terrorist is from our country he would not have been radicalized so much one reason sir because most of the you know at the same time sir if a terrorist is living in a in our soil it is easier to you know capture them or you know deradicalize them all right ma'am uh udit yes sir you've mentioned that you have accepted allocation to a service so are you in service already no ma'am i'm not you have given five attempts yes sir okay uh you've given interview before this no ma'am okay um so i see that you've done your bsc in physics yes. msc in physics and astrophysics yes sir so you have uh, why civil services ma'am i believe that you know civil service ma'am i the, the biggest reason is that ma'am i always wanted to join public services and i wanted to join the army i okay. gave the nda exam i was selected and recommended but ma'am i was found medically unfit for that so when i went into the you know university and then when i decided to what should i do with my life then that is when i decided to join upsc but you went on and did msc after joining university yes ma'am because ma'am i my i was younger ma'am i was not the right age i could not give the upsc exam when i would when i cleared the graduation i was 20 okay. when i cleared the gra- i have done my graduation i was 20 years old you cannot give the exam till 21 so i did not want to waste my one year and I decided to zoom Do MSc. Masters. Okay. Yes, Now, uh, can you tell me? So there, there was a news recently. I think today. Have you read today's newspaper? A little bit, ma'am. About uh, lunar base on Mars. Okay. Any country which is setting up a lunar ba- has announced that it will set up a lunar base on Mars. Sorry, ma'am, I'm not. Okay. So uh, let us say a country wishes to set up a lunar base on Mars. Yes. Ma'am. Uh. what would what could the could be the possible reasons ma'am mars has you know the mining incentives on mars is one of the biggest reasons you know it has very oh. variety of actually i'm so sorry it is lunar lunar base is moon yes ma'am so on moon yes ma'am the mining, mining incentives, incentives mining what incentives else? on moon the regolith of regolith which is the sand, sand on the moon the soil of the moon is highly you know invested in many minerals which are required such many, as uh sorry ma'am i cannot <laughs> recall right now okay. the exact okay at the same time ma'am moon can be the outpost for us to you know blast off to mars or to the other planets because it has very low gravity so you know it would require less fuel okay. for a rocket to be launched from moon other than from earth okay uh what do we understand by ott platforms uh, ott yes ma'am ott platforms are over the top platforms which are you know the online streaming services for example netflix hotstar disney hotstar and prime video how are they regulated um, they are intern they are self regulated right now and the government is trying to come up with a bill to you know increase their regulation okay so i'm asking this in the context of watching movies and anime yes ma'am Yes, because uh, these days movies are being released on OTT platforms also yes, instead ma'am. of only the cinema yes, halls. Ma'am. So, uh, especially for, there's a lot of criticism for this uh, Japanese anime. Okay, ma'am. What are the criticism? Ma'am, the criticism is that they are generally perceived as something for children, but they have more mature themes. Okay. At the same time, there is a proliferation of violence in some of violence. these anime. so should they be banned no ma'am they should not be banned because ma'am there is something called artistic freedom and artistic choice at the same time ma'am there should be some you know parental guidance norms and you know some certification norms which can be you know what sets anime apart from other cartoons or other series that we watch ma'am that the core reason is this only ma'am these they are not just you know something a child might find amusing or something these are you know serious stories which they do try to encompass all the you know whatever happens in it. there are different genres there is slice of life which talks about how a normal life goes on there is you know some heartbreaking anime which you know so there are different genres okay, of it okay uh, mm-hmm. can you tell me uh, you mentioned artificial intelligence in between Okay. So can you tell me what is the role of artificial intelligence in governance? 
how will it make governance different mam artificial intelligence you know it would allow us you know to bypass the human you know the the bureaucrat in the middle who one has to face you know it will allow us to automate many of our government services such as you know direct banking transfer or that is also digitizing mam that is but how is it different from artificial mam it will reduce it will help us reduce in inefficiencies in these departments that can be done by digitizing again what is the role of artificial intelligence mm. Ma'am. You understand the difference yes. between digitizing and yes, artificial ma'am. intelligence. Yes, Once the records are digitized, once huh. you can directly file huh. a public grievance online, huh. you've removed huh. the officer in between. Okay. You understand? Yes, ma'am. But ma'am, at the same time, for example, we have a set of data. What we need now is to, you know, that data for uh, example, a census that since the 2023, which will be happening. So, for example, what we need is targeted development. Okay. or targeting target better targeting of beneficiaries mm. so artificial intelligence can do that you know it can collate that data very efficiently yes good uh, my last question to you is have you heard of gnctd act the government of national capital yes, territory of delhi yes, act so it was recently amended yes ma'am what is what were the amendments done ma'am the amendments were that lg was given more, was you know when the act talks about governor government it means the lg it means the lg lg as the government and yes, uh, how far do you agree that uh, delhi should be given statehood what is your opinion ma'am i believe that ma'am except for say berlin or tokyo none of the city capital cities in the world have the statehood at the same time ma'am you know the reason is because they they when and whenever there is a capital city it houses the critical infrastructure of the world government so it, they do not want that to you know be affected by when for example the state has all no. the power in that region so that could be affected you know due to some political issues that may crop up agreed thank you thank you hello dit so uh, so you like playing video games yes sir Are there any negative impacts also for video games? Yes, sir. There are some neg- negative impacts. For for example, sir, one is that addiction. For example, recently some games like you know multiplayer games like PUBG etc. You know the kids are more they they just want to play these games all the time and do not want to study or you know. Yes, addiction is one. Yes. Yes, sir. Another ex- another would be sir. You know the preponderance of violence in these games. You know which may you know. leads to kids be becoming desensitized to violence at the same time sir you know these games have they use curse words etc which kids can easily pick up okay so negative impact on the psyche okay of the kids are there anything is there anything else uh, sorry sir i cannot uh, can it be a security threat also yes sir yes sir it can be a security threat how sir these you know the online player games like pubg these have online chats <laughs> which can be used by the you know terrorists etc for contacting each other without the government ever finding about them because these are not monitored for example like whatsapp or very right so they can't be monitored and there is also uh, radicalization is also happening yes sir over the them. exchange of so how do you think that this aspect can be addressed by the agencies law enforcement agencies sir one of the reason one of the things that can be done is that you know the the online data that is flowing out they, there can be you know checks and balances on that online data by you know ensuring that some of the either the company's headquarters or its data servers are located in the country so that we are better able to you know keep a tab But on this that won't that lead to mass surveillance and there will be concerns regarding privacy then sir there will it might lead to mass so i, w- I would not call it mass surveillance but at the same time we need to you know maintain a balance between national security and privacy how would you maintain so, what, so can we give precedence to one should it be should it be national security or should it be privacy sir i do not believe it is an either an or debate it should be that both but there be. can be if there is a conflict say for example there is a radicalization or there is a network that is uh, you mm-hmm. know uh, communicating over the, such a platform and mm-hmm. the government is asking a company to take action to you know share the information mm-hmm. certainly that will violate privacy 
Yes, sir. That would violate privacy. But so, are you saying it should be on a case-to-case basis? Yes, sir. It should be on a case-to-case case basis. Can it, can it be identified on a case-to-case case basis? I mean, it will be very difficult for government to locate which server or which player or which set of players, unless there is a you know mass surveillance kind of thing, so that company is monitoring each and every message that is being relayed. Sir, I do not believe that company monitoring each and every message is humanly possible at the same time. But sir, rather. I would okay. still recommend case to case basis because mass surveillance is okay. never okay fair yeah. enough yeah. uh so you like uh, reading science fiction books also yes sir can you tell some books which which one you have read or which one is your favorite also oh, my recent favorite would be the project hail mary by andy weir what was the theme so the core theme was that space exploration and you know perse- perseverance in the form of when you have some you know challenges perseverance in the form in the realm of challenges okay so space exploration lots of science fiction is based on you know interstellar travel and you know uh, traveling light years etc so do you yes, think sir. that is actually possible uh, in future sometime in the future sir the core you know conceit of science fiction is that you know we are trying to write about something which is improbable but can happen in the future at some time for example sir arthur c clarke who is known as one of the you know finest mm-hmm. science fiction writers he was the one who gave the idea of ge- geostationary orbits which is where how where sta- satellites are located today at the same time he was also the one who gave the idea of online banking world wide web etc in 1940s and those have come to fruition today so i believe at some point these things may happen also. but there are certain other things which are uh, nigh impossible if you if we hear at the present level of technology say for example interstellar travel when we are saying that mm. you know uh, traveling light years of distance we mm. do not have that technology do you think that we will reach that level someday so we might reach that level but at the uh, at right now sir it's not it completely impossible because without the you know the presence of say a wormhole we cannot travel okay. faster than light and there is also like there have been uh, uh, sci-fi novels and movies also about ai and ai achieving sentience and you know they becoming yes, self aware yes, do sir. you think that is possible ai becoming self aware so that is the fourth type of ai you know there are four types of ai and that is the final form of ai which has been you know theorized but i the recent advances in AI, while they are, you know, significant, but at the same time, they show that we have a very long way to go for that to ever happen. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's all from my side. There are serious knowledge gaps in terms of economics and finance. Okay. When I'm saying, I'm asking about Sensex, you are telling me it's the largest stock market. So it's not a stock market. And okay. it's an index representing one of the stock market. So, precise advice, read economic newspaper regularly. Mm-hmm. And since you are a student of physics, of course, mm-hmm. uh, so, I mean, you haven't studied economics at graduate uh, level, so spend a bit more time because you are aspiring for either IFS or IES. Half of the IFS these days is simply economics. Mm-hmm. Crude oil prices are going up, going mm-hmm. down. Attack on our trade ships by mm-hmm. Houthi, mm-hmm. Indochina, tension, Indochina trade, Indo-Pak tension, Indo-Pak economic relations. So economics is to be taken a bit more seriously. Mm-hmm. So besides advice is, Hindu you must be reading already. Yes, sir. Indian Express and Hindu. Okay. These are the basic, but Economic Times is additional. Please go through that. Okay, sir. That's all for I will, will do. Thank you, sir. Uh, Udit, one is that you've been using the word you know a lot. Okay. The phrase you know. Yes, okay. Avoid you doing that. Okay, well, I okay. Did, I so you didn't you didn't realize. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. But uh, it feels that when you are stressed or you are asked an opinion question, yes, so you start using you know. Okay. So when when you're conscious, then maybe you will not use okay. it. Okay. Then uh, overall, you could answer most questions, and you have good thinking. Please listen to the question carefully. Okay. Okay. For example, my question to you on artificial intelligence. Yes, 
uh, if you heard the question properly you would have answered it yes, is sir. what i believe okay otherwise uh, good okay. all the best thank you and more confidence okay are you nervous a little bit yes sir so don't let it show it's normal to be nervous yes. but more strong voice straight posture and confidence and that smiling face that you just <laughs> this one is this one is overall i felt very good talking to you i mean you have good knowledge in your uh, whatever interest you have mentioned uh, you were aware of and you took that balancing stance i was also looking what what exactly you know it is always good to have that balance you can't go the extreme way try to avoid it on any other issue yes. also and also sci-fi also i felt good uh, just work on the gaps that sir has mentioned yes, but sir. overall i felt that you were really good oh,